What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and welcome to the Keep It Techie channel where we dive into everything Linux and help you get your tech career rolling. And today we're taking a deep dive into the brand new Fedora Linux 40. So whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting out, there's something in this release for everyone. So make sure you stick around and find out what's new and cool with Fedora 40. And hey, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get to it. All right, so I'm at fedoraproject.org. And of course I have the link down in the description of the video, but let's jump into what makes Fedora Linux 40 a release you don't want to miss. So let's go down and click here and this will break down the different ways you could download it. So you got your workstation version, you could download this version, you could download the server, the community version. There is a IOT version you could download as well as the lightweight VM environment and the container OS. So you got five different options there that hasn't changed since the last release. But let's go back up to the top because if we click here, you'll see it pop up right here on the right hand side, but it says Fedora Linux 40 release. So if you click there, this will give us a lot of information about Fedora 40. Now, first up, we got the latest desktop environments with GNOME 46, as well as KDE Plasma 6, both running on the smooth Wayland graphics stack. And for those of you who are all about cutting edge tech, Fedora 40 introduces some exciting AI tools with new additions like PyTorch and Rock M6. And that's perfect for you AI enthusiasts out there. Now, there's something really special about Fedora 40. It marks the branch point for CentOS Stream 10, which is super important because it's setting the stage for the next big thing in Red Hat Enterprise Linux, and that's Rail 10. And I know we all are looking forward to that. And so this means all the innovative stuff you see in Fedora today might soon be powering more stable enterprise grade systems tomorrow. And also another cool thing that I wanted to kind of cover was that if you love the idea of an immutable desktop, then we could say hello to Fedora Atomic desktops. And this is a big return to a classic idea now revamped with all RPM tree based variants like Silver Blue and Sway coming under one exciting new umbrella. And let's not forget about security and privacy Fedora 40 brings a cool feature where you can have a stable but random MAC address for your Wi-Fi connection. And that way we can keep those pesky trackers at bay. And for the cloud enthusiasts, the shift to using Kiwi for image generation means more flexibility and a closer relationship with upstream maintainers. Now, all these updates from the shift of modern C compilers to faster package updates and retiring older tech like Python 3.7, a port of Fedora's commitment to staying fresh and functional. So if you're ready to upgrade and want to try out Fedora for the first time, Fedora 40 is one that I heavily recommend. Now let's go on and hop over and show you guys how to get this thing installed and a quick review of a few things once we get it up and running. So let's get to it. All right, cool. So I'm logged into the live ISO and the first thing I'll do, it'll check the media. Well, you can, you have two different options. You could check the media and then boot up Fedora 40, or you could just boot right into it. I just checked the media and boot it right in. And this will bring up a menu as soon as you get there to where you can test out the operating system from here on the live ISO. And like I said, it has that new version of GNOME. You can kind of tell by up here with the different, you know, desktops, you can scroll back and forth up here that'll move to different desktops, but you can select not now, play around with it, or you can go right into the installation, which is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna hit install and this will bring up the installer. And we shouldn't see much difference from Red Hat and any of the other Red Hat based distros as far as the installer goes. So it should be straightforward on getting this thing set up. The menu hasn't really changed. So let's just run through the process. First step, select your language. Mine is already set to English United States. So let's go down and hit continue. Just select whatever language is for you. All we got to do is select the installation destination, select our drive. You normally got to hit it twice in order to get it. So that'll select the drive. It'll automatically configure the storage if you select this. And then you can 
can also custom the hard drive as well if you want to. There's the advanced custom. Uh, you can free up space by removing, shrinking existing partitions if it already has partitions on it, which is super cool. And it also encrypts. You can put a, you know, a passphrase on it and that will lock down our hard drive if we need it. But I'm in a virtual machine. I'm gonna remove this after we finish because I already kind of have a virtual machine that's already set up that I'll continue playing with just so I can give you guys an updated video a little bit later on after giving it a little bit more time. But we got a hard drive set up, so let's hit done. And then our time and location, I already selected, you know, America, Los Angeles, automatic date and time. You can configure your NTP if you need to, or you can man manually set your date and time i'm just hit done there that's good and now we can just begin the installation and if you didn't know this you probably seen something a little different i believe the last time i installed fedora it allowed you to set up the accounts on that first page it had an option for you to select it but that has been removed i believe it's later in the process so i believe once we reboot it'll bring up another like post configuration and this will allow you to set up the accounts give it administrator rights or pseudo privileges on the server or the system and then you're good to go so i'll be back when the installation completes all right cool so the installation is complete all you have to do is hit finish installation i know you guys can't see it because it's behind my face but that's essentially what it says finish installation fedora is now successfully installed and ready for you to use so let's go down and click that button and then let's go up here and hit the power button let's reboot right fast wait for it to come back up all right, so we booted up and like I said, this is the setup process. So let's run through it right fast. It says, welcome to Fedora Linux 40. This is the setup guide. So let's hit start setup and this will take us through our privacy settings first. So we got location services, automatic problem reporting. I'll just leave it on. Like I said, I'm, I'm gonna delete this VM after this. So it really doesn't matter. So just select your preferences depending on how much of your information that you want to be able to allow out of the system which is on it's very small it's still some information that's coming from your system and i know a lot of people they like to you know maintain their privacy as much as they can because it's very hard nowadays to fully protect your privacy but you can do what you can to help mitigate some of the privacy issues that we have out there so let's go down hit next there third party repositories you can enable this i'm gonna hit enable and next and like i said it'll set up our accounts and and i'm glad they did it this way that way you can set up the system let's say if it's connected to a network like if this system is set up within an organization this you this allows you to have that enterprise login or you can just create your account you know typically for most of us guys that are you know playing with this outside of an organization you could just put whatever you want it makes sense to do that but let's go down and hit next there and type in our password super strong password and and let's type it in twice and let's go down and hit next there and we should be good to go on setting up password and that's pretty much it all is done fedora is ready for use we hope that you love it start using fedora linux so you can stay logged in here or you can log out and log back in and i forgot it's going to bring up the pop-up and let's go down and take the tour right fast and here we go so let's run through this as well right fast so you guys can at least see what you'll see when you get installed so you got an overview and this talks about the super key that you can push is basically that windows key that you typically will push on windows it'll bring up the menu same thing here same concept they call it the super key so let's hit next just type the search so this kind of covers the stuff on top of your workspaces so like i showed you earlier with the new version of gnome you know you can skip through also if you have this on a laptop with a touchpad you do have a lot of options as far as swiping and moving things around you know on the system so let's hit next there same thing this workspaces and then that's pretty much it that's basically the tour it just basically shows you how to use the desktop environment so bam we are good to go so now we have fedora let's just look at i'm just looking at a few things right fast let's look at the applications that come on there and it's base applications that we have let's let's go down and go back in here just want to look at all of them but camera context weather clock you know maps libre office is on here so you got calc and then your writer presentation so impress so you got all that you got your utilities that you can use on the system these all gnome utilities dish usage analyzer document viewer you know all that good stuff video player like i said it's pretty much any and everything you would want to see on a good system i'm gonna open that up as well that is our systems monitor and then also you can go into your settings i'm gonna open that up as well but this is how you make all your changes to your system right there but let's check 
check out the let's see new U name and then dash a let's check out the linux kernel version it's got 6.8.5 so we get to go there that's great kernel to set up or use and let's go down and exit out of our terminal we don't really well let's see if i don't know i don't think neo fetch is on here we would have to install it yeah it's not on here i don't think and we can go down and install it let's hit yes to provide the command install package yes proceed with changes so it'll go down and install that right fast and i really didn't want to run neo fetch but i'm gonna go down and install it right fast just to get something on here so boom it automatically stored the application so there we go neo fetch you know our kernel version 6.8.5 uptime packages it has the window manager theme of edwada window manager mutter gnome desktop environment themes edwada icons edwada which i like that man that's like one of the best themes that you know you can have gnome terminal it's good to go and we're not gonna worry about the hardware it's all virtualized so it doesn't matter good to go let's go down in and close out the terminal and then also like i said this is all your settings so you can go through here desktop settings display settings power settings multitask applications like stored up applications printers color you know all your basic settings especially if you use gnome then it's not that difficult and i wanted to at least show the system monitor that way you guys can see where to see information about the system you can check out your resources so your cpu memory swap networking this you know all that stuff and then your file system as well like how it's all broken out like if you need to or you do it from the terminal you know what i'm saying but this is a great graphical way of actually looking at it so let's go on and uh, close that out and so that wraps up my tour of fedora linux 40 exciting times especially for us fedora users and so whether you're planning to upgrade or install it fresh there's plenty to look forward to so don't forget if you run into any issues or have questions the ask fedora forum is a excellent resource that's one thing i like about distros and how I actually rate them a little bit. If you have excellent resources, then I'll definitely recommend the distro, you know, to any and everybody. Because I know how it is starting out as a new Linux user. It's a little bit different from what you're used to, especially if you've only used Windows or Mac OS while growing up or something you first were introduced to Linux. It's kind of like a culture shock, you know what I'm saying? Because everything is totally different. But whenever they have good resources out there then i definitely recommend it to people and also of course i love to hear your thoughts and experience on fedora 40 so drop a comment down below if you can and before you go smash that like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe if you're new here because like i said we got a lot more tech tips and tutorials on the way and so thanks for watching i hope you guys have a productive week and i'll see you guys in the next one and of course keep it techy